Welcome to this Prisma tutorial. My name is Sabrina and today I will guide you through our registration process. After you click on register, you will find yourself in the registration wizard. The wizard will guide you through the necessary steps to successfully register your company on the platform. Please read the instructions carefully. As you're registering your company for the first time on the platform, you will have to be its first admin. To prove that you are empowered to become the shipper admin of your company, you will have to provide two documents, a copy of your company's register extract and a signed power of attorney, of which you can find a template in our knowledge base. But more on that later. Now, let's begin with the registration. It all starts with your EAC. If you don't know what your EAC is or don't have one yet, please refer to the ENSOE EAC register you find online. There you can also find a list of EAC issuing authorities. If your EAC is already published in the database, your company name and VIT will automatically be pulled from there. Should anything be amiss, please contact your local issuing authority to request the necessary changes. After inserting your EAC, you will be required to fill out some core data about your company, such as your company's address and any deviating postal and billing addresses. After having provided the most important data about your company, step three is all about you, the first user and admin of the company. Please provide your personal details and then upload the two documents mentioned earlier, power of attorney and company register extract. Once the upload is finished and confirmed with a green confirmation dialog, you can select your authentication method. We strongly recommend the mobile token option, but for those who cannot use a mobile token, we offer an alternative hardware solution. Find it by clicking on Can't use mobile token. In step 4, you are first asked to provide your company's bank details. In addition, if you want to have an assignment with a German TSO, you also have the option to provide your supplier DVGW code. At last, please enter the contact details for some core departments of your company. These contacts are the direct connection if the TSO has some queries for you, for example, dispatching related questions. The next button brings you to the last step of the initial company registration, accepting Prisma's terms and conditions as well as our privacy policy. Once you click on Submit Registration, all your data is checked. Should anything be incorrect or non-compliant, you will be asked to verify the corresponding step. Don't worry, you won't lose any data by jumping back and forth between the different steps. Once you have corrected the mismatching data, submit your registration again. A green info box will inform you that your registration request has been successfully submitted. Now check your email inbox. You should have received an email with a link to click on to confirm your registration. Once you have done that, our customer success team will validate your request and send you the credentials with which you can access the platform. Now, to buy capacity, you will have to select your TSO counterparties. To do so, log into the platform. Then select Operators from the menu and click on Apply for new assignment. Scroll to find the operators with whom you would like to request an assignment. After selecting them, you will find a link to their general terms and conditions, which you should read before submitting the assignment request. Now check your emails. You will find instructions on the further steps to take to get your assignment approved. I hope I could provide you with helpful information. If you have any further questions regarding this topic, 
don't hesitate to contact the Prisma customer success team. My name is Sabrina and I wish you a pleasant day.